Hello everyone, my name is Auro and today I'm coming to you with a quick tutorial of a simple and very easy way how you can add online multiplayer to your game. And more specifically, I will be talking about a Steam feature called Steam Remote Play. First I will talk about what this Steam Remote Play is and what it does. Then I will talk about when it might be a good idea to use it and when it might not be a good idea to use it. And then finally, I will show in practice how you can start using this feature. So first of all, what is Steam Remote Play and how does it work? Basically, it's a feature that can turn local multiplayer into a online multiplayer. And the way it does this is that it streams the screen of one Steam user to other Steam users. And it also connects the input devices of all those Steam users to the same game session. So basically like a interactive stream that simulates all of you sitting on the same couch playing on the same device. So when should you use this feature? I think it works best for games where the single player is kind of like the main show and multiplayer is kind of like this additional feature that you think might be cool but you don't really want to spend a lot of time and resources to build it up from scratch. I mean normal online multiplayer can be very tedious to add and you really need to design your code from the start to support it. Whereas with Steam Remote Play it's very easy to add. You don't need to worry at all about networking and things like that and it can basically be added to any game that supports local multiplayer in just a few minutes. So why is this miracle feature not used in every game? Well there are of course downsides to it. As it's a Steam feature it naturally only works on Steam. Since it relies on streaming high quality video, it's more reliant on players having good internet connections. And for the players, while it is by no means hard to use, it's not quite as convenient as just pressing one button or something like that. You can also come up with some other downsides, but those are the major ones, I would say. And for these reasons, if multiplayer is supposed to be a core part of your game, I wouldn't recommend using Steam Remote Play for that purpose. But as mentioned, if multiplayer is more like an additional feature in your game, I think it works great for that purpose. I have tried it with a 4 player action PvP game and it seemed to work very well despite fast movement. I also recently added to my upcoming game Chambers of Devious Design and it worked very smoothly there also. So let's move on to the part how you can add it to your game. Step 1. You need to add local multiplayer to your game. So two or more people will need to be able to play your game on the same device. This is the part that requires some actual effort. And unfortunately I cannot really give any concrete guide on this step as it depends on so many different things like which engine you are using, what kind of a game it is, which component you are using for handling input and many other different things. There is no one specific way how to do this step. The only thing that matters is the end result. And that is that at least two players will be able to play your game at the same time. And when you have done that, you have actually done 99% of all the work to enable this feature. Step 2. Go to your game's admin page and in there navigate to the edit store page section. In here scroll down to the supported features section. You will notice that there's this remote play together toggle there, so make sure that is enabled. Don't forget to save and publish. There is also this section in Steamwork settings where you can enable remote play for specific branches. Based on my testing, if you enable the feature on your store page, this section is irrelevant. It works on every branch if the feature is enabled on your store page. But if you just want to test the feature, you could enable it here just for a specific branch. Step 3. There is no step 3. That is everything you need to do to enable the feature. Now players should be able to invite their friends into their current game session. If you want to make it easier for your players, you might want to include some info about this feature in your game or maybe a button that makes inviting friends slightly easier. If you want to go even further, you could create a separate UI for inviting friends, but it is not really needed. So that's all there is to it. 
If this video was helpful to you, I would really appreciate if left a like and maybe also a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.